Sudden infant death syndrome, commonly known as SIDS, affects thousands of babies each year. Dr. David James introduces us to one local mother who experienced SIDS with her baby and shows us ways to prevent its devastating effects. After a 12-week maternity leave taking care of her newborn son, Grant, Sandy Alexander returned to work. On her second day back, she received a call and her whole world turned upside down. I got a call from the babysitter, not from the babysitter, but from my husband, um, to get back to Jackson. He didn't tell me what had happened, but <clears throat> nobody wanted to tell me until I got here. But we lost him to SIDS. Looking back, there's a lot of risk factors that I missed just because I thought it couldn't happen to me. Through updated research, many hospitals now issue sleep sacks for babies and provide more information on techniques for positioning a baby for sleep time. By getting not only the sleep sack, but um, the safe sleep information, um, the education that the nurses are gonna receive to pass on to the families, I think hearing it multiple times reinforces the message. Research shows now that it is much safer for them to be on their back. We don't have to worry about them choking. We don't, there is less incidence of SIDS and sleep-related death if they are on their back in a crib alone with nothing else in that crib. An advocate for the prevention of SIDS, Alexander, who is the mother of two children, doesn't want anyone to experience what she went through five years ago. I want all the babies that are born to get to their first birthday and beyond because watching my other two grow up has been so bittersweet because I love all the milestones they hit, but at the same time my heart hurts because I never got to see Grant do those things. Um, so I just don't, I don't want any other moms to have to experience that, that hole in your heart from not having your baby here. About 4,500 babies die unexpectedly each year in the U.S., often during sleep. If you have a newborn or are expecting soon, be sure to get as much information as possible from your doctor and make sure to ask about getting a sleep sack from your hospital. For this week's Health Watch, I'm Dr. David James. For guidelines on how to prevent SIDS, go to our website at WBBJTV.com.